Welcome to another Go Green Field show with me, River, and me, Taryn. And me, Jessa. Yeah, Yay. she's our recurring, recurring guest. Yes. And today we're going to be learning how to make three new toppings for your hot dogs and just make them a little Summer. bit better than the original kind. So Taryn, usually it's like ketchup and mustard. But now we have pineapple relish, Reuben, and barbecue. Oh, oh yeah. Ooh. I'm excited. I'm excited for the pineapple relish. Let's Reuben, I love like I'm really excited good. to dump your up these boring hot dogs. I yeah, know, right? Yummy. Yeah. Right. Let's Let's do do it. Sausage. So, which one are we going to do first? I have a pineapple relish. And why did you guys pick pineapple relish? Um, because I really like relish, but I think it's good to like I will like sweet noodles, like with jalapenos, like spicy, like sweet and spicy ketchup. I like that even elements. Basically, our ingredients for this are going to be mustard seed, honey, some one lime zested and juiced one whole pineapple pepper um olive oil doesn't really matter because you're gonna pour it into the pan so just as much as you want um one whole jalapeno quarter cup of parsley i'm pretty excited to do the pineapple one because mm -hmm. i love yeah. pineapple with sausage like hawaiian pizza oh yeah that sounds pineapple really with yum. anything meaty is good but this is gonna be particular because yeah. we got some good <laughs> Spice in here with jalapeno and some honey yeah. to make it sweet too. And some honey, so there's just gonna be a really good play on flavors yeah, I'm really here. Excited I'm excited. For this one. Okay. Yeah, me too. <laughs> so are you gonna show me how to do it? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. So basically, the first step is you take some pineapple relish, olive oil, me, olive oil, <laughs> and pineapple okay. relish oil. So we're going to the stove top. Okay. Yeah, we're gonna saute it. So Where are we sauteing? Basically, we're gonna saute the onions and the bell peppers, mm -hmm. and then um. Then so we can, this. yeah, and then we're gonna add like in like the jalapeno and the zest and the lemon. And so why can't lemon. we just put them in like this? Um, what is what does this do to well, that? Well, caramelizing, I think, doesn't it enforce the flavor and stuff? Like it. Well, what I understand is when you uh, heat it, it brings out it pulls out the the wet, which is like what you said, the moisture, mm -hmm. and then it also brings the the sugars out, so it oh. sweetens a little more. Yay! And it just tastes better. Yeah, it'll it'll be interesting because it'll have an interesting texture. This will be fresh and these will be cooked. And you get that amazing smell. So you get that different textures. In yeah, that. it smells super good. It smells like a pineapple relish, boy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. I've gone from muffin man to pineapple relish, boy. Yeah, you've gone from muffin man to pineapple relish, boy. Yeah. <laughs> All right, where's going for that up? Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah. sounds good. So let's start by pouring in the jalapeno peppers. Red peppers and onions. And Lots of peppers. Lots of peppers. Black yeah. pepper, jalapeno pepper, and red pepper. Mm -hmm. And pepper pepper. Which one is not like the other? Mom, and this pepper. The onions. And you could guess. Oh. Wait, what? Yeah. Mm -hmm. They're all pepper family. Oh, except the onions. Except the onions, yeah. That's true. That's true. So we're just going to cook this for like six to eight minutes till uh, the onions and stuff become translucent. We just finished adding our one whole bell pepper, or two whole bell, bell peppers, and our one whole onion, and our one whole jalapeno. Pepper. And now we're going to add our pineapple in. Pepper. Our a lot of mustard seed. How much mustard seed? Oh, uh, okay. one, one teaspoon. One teaspoon. One teaspoon. Okay. And then just one whole pineapple. Tablespoon of this. A tablespoon of honey. I'll just eyeball it with. Okay. And then, um. I hope so. <laughs> Some zest, <laughs> some that one's parsley, and then some. Taryn's not talking because he has hiccups. <laughs> and then our last one is lime juice, and then we just let that turn into kind of like a sauce, and then pretty much it's ready. Ooh, okay, that's easy. Yeah, yummy. yummy. Do you mind if I just go in just mm -hmm. a little bit? No. <laughs> mm, that's good. Yay! It's very colorful. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I like the colors. Yeah, it's very pretty. Mm, it looks Hawaiian. Can you, put, can you put salt in there? Yep. Okay. I'll add some more though since we Maybe just a touch there. more. Perfect. Beautiful. Yay. And so how would you use this on a hot dog? Uh, pretty simple. Like if you have regular relish, you chili dog on like, Just basically put it on like regular relish. So we've made something similar to this. And the one thing I didn't like about it is that the juice is soaked into the bread. So I thought maybe we could put a little mayo on the inside of the bun. Like the bun? Yeah, because the yeah. oil will resist 
the Put liquids so that they don't make your bun all soggy. Well, well, that's mean, kind of my, was my opinion. Already doesn't look like there's too much juice, but I know. But that was that was my experience from the last. I time. take that slightly back this time. <laughs> we could strain it. Could but you it. people can do it however they like. But that. If it was me, and I, and I will do it again, I'll have one this afternoon, I would put the mayo on the bun. Okay, and then like roast the bun a little bit. No, not even roast the bun, oh. just put a little so mayo Should I preheat the grill for the hot dogs? Not yet. Okay. Beautiful, guys. That looks like a yummy pineapple relish. Okay. Yeah, yes. looks good. Now we're working on the Reuben, and this one's way easier than the other one. <laughs> but you basically are kind of making a Thousand Island dressing. And the sauerkraut and the cheese are what you put on afterwards. They're like, like topping. Yeah, they're like the afterward topping. Yummy. I love Reuben, so this is gonna be really tough for me because I really like the pineapple idea. I like the raw. But Reuben's, Reuben's are probably one of my favorite sandwiches. If they had really? rye I like hot dogs, I know I like I love, Reuben's are my favorite sandwich. But if they had rye hot dogs, mm, like rye like bun buns, buns, yeah, oh, that'd be money. That oh. would be perfect. Oops. We might have to like make some <laughs> rye buns. That's okay. It's cooking. <laughs> Um, when I was way. pregnant with you guys, I wanted Rubens and Clementines. That's all I wanted. Oranges and... Yep, oh. oranges and Rubens. I know it's weird. That's because we like those so much. And now you guys really love those things. <laughs> That's pretty funny. So wait, what do you just put in there? So this, we add all of the ingredients. So we got a quarter cup of mayonnaise, mm -hmm. uh, one tablespoon of sweet relish, Okay. Uh, one tablespoon of ketchup and half a teaspoon of Worcestershire sauce. Okay, Ooh. and a little mix. And then we just mix it all together. It doesn't look, it looks like fry sauce. Yeah, it looks like fry sauce. Yeah, it does. And fry sauce is amazing, so that's what this is good. <laughs> okay, I like to taste, so I'm gonna taste again. My fingers are clean. Are your fingers clean? Yes. Ah, ah, it's a little meat. I'm gonna eat off the whisk. Salt? Mm -hmm. No, it's pretty good. I like it just the way it is, actually. Mm -hmm. And so you're gonna put yeah. this on there with some sauerkraut and some Swiss and what is cheese. Swiss, Swiss cheese, cheese. grated. So this must be really it's, simple. It's great. It's really great. Yeah, it's great. You're gonna have a nice sour taste with this. You're gonna have kind of a sweet, creamy, and then you're gonna have a nice cheesy on top. It's gonna be good. I'm excited. And then a nice meaty, meaty little hot dog. Yeah, yummy. Yeah. We should make that. We should make that. We should make. Gosh, I'm gonna have a really hard time picking which I know. flavor I want. I can't have them all. Well, you can make good. You can make good. You can make good. Or okay. each of us can have a hot dog and eat. We have it's lots fine. of practice doing these together. Okay. <laughs> we'll, we'll split it in thirds. Sounds good to me. All right. So now we're making the barbecue Ooh. hot dog dressing. And basically, we got all the ingredients here. We got some mayo, opposite okay. vinegar, honey, celery seeds, salt, and all of our half. We got half a head of cap. Uh, quarter head. No. Quarter head of red cabbage. Quarter, quarter head, head of green cabbage. One whole large carrot. And half of our red onion. Yes. And then an eighth cup of apple cider vinegar, two tablespoons of honey, a quarter one, cup. Oh, oh, excuse me. One yeah. teaspoon of celery seed, and a quarter cup. Or, yeah, quarter cup of mayonnaise. And, and some salt to taste. Salt. Yeah. So that's all you really do. You just mix it all together. Yep. So I'll start mixing. Okay, I will add in like the vinegar and stuff. Okay. There's that. Okay. Why would they? And then some. This is gonna be good. I'm excited. Sorry. <laughs> what, what hot dog are you most excited for? I'm most excited for the Reuben. Really? I'm most excited for the pineapple relish. Looks okay. good. Yeah, we don't need any more honey. So the reason that we're not roasting these over an open fire like I really want to do is because we kind of have a fire bang going on because it's really hot here. So. Just make sure to check before you're cooking hot dogs, just to make sure that there's no fire brands near your area. Only you can prevent forest fires. Smokey the bear. <laughs> so let's start with the one that I want to make most, which is the pineapple relish one. Ooh. And we're going to put the mayonnaise on, like we said earlier, because we think that it will um, help not help the bun not absorb water in the, re in the relish too much. So I'm just gonna do like a thinner layer because I don't want to taste the mayo too much. You want the relish. You need like pineapple in your pizza? I don't know because there's not really any tomato sauce or cheese, okay. which is key ingredients in pizza. So let's just, yeah, I think that should be enough. But do you like pineapple? So in your thin pizza? coating? And yeah, I do. And so then I'm <laughs> going to take my sausage, I'm gonna take my relish, and I'm just going to just lightly place it on. Ooh, looks I like good. the colors of this one. It's like 
I was kind of hoping for a little more pop with the pineapple, but I still like it a lot. It looks yeah, cool. I still think it looks fresh. So I think that should be enough. So we're going to try these all at the end. So I'll just put one right here. That's our first of three. So you want to make the next one? Yes, but I won't put it in for him. Okay. So I'm right there. Let's do it. There we go. Yay. Mm -hmm. I'm going to do the Reuben because I want to oh, do that one really nice. bad. So first you put your hot dog in, as so. Then you get your Thousand Island dressing, or thousand dressing. dressing? Yeah, it almost looks like hollandaise sauce. A little, little yeah. You put a good amount of dressing on. That. And then you do the sauerkraut. That's a, you like your toppings. I do like my toppings. <laughs> then you do your Swiss cheese. I also make messes over here. That, guy, that guy's bulging. Holy moly. Yep. Okay. There's a Reuben. Not sure if there's a hot dog in there, but let's go there to the is. next one. So, so our next one, on. I'm actually just going to take my hot dog, and instead of just putting coleslaw right on, I'm actually going to drizzle, drizzle a little bit of barbecue sauce. This one's Hawaiian barbecue sauce, but you can get regular and stuff on the third market if you want it. Yeah, Primal Kitchen. Yeah. So I'm just going to try to be careful. Sometimes this stuff comes up quickly. Perfect. And then this is the barbecue. Yeah, this is the barbecue coleslaw. So I'm just gonna put some coleslaw on there. It's almost like a burger hot dog because coleslaw is with burgers. The things. I thought coleslaw was with pulled pork. So it sure. is. You're right. I'm wrong. So those are our three. You want to take a bite out of each one? Yes, but we gotta yeah. split them up because mom needs some too. Okay. Yeah. Tasting so time. tasting time. Yeah. yeah. I, I, which one do you want to try first? I don't know, but just so our viewers know, since mom's behind the camera, these are gonna be split up a little bit. So mom's gonna try hers on her. I'm overreading her, and then she's gonna video us. So I'm gonna try this one. That's how it's gonna go. Oh no! She probably brought napkins here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> how was it? I'm gonna get a napkin. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was really good. It has like the hot dog taste. Is still, you can still taste the hot dog, which is good. But there's like a little bit of coleslaw flavor too, and you can just like have a hint of barbecue. I, I like that one a lot. Okay, I'm really gonna good. try. I'm just gonna feel what I'm gonna say. Try not to do what I did. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah, try not to overtop these hot dogs. <laughs> I'm gonna try this pineapple relish one, okay? Mmm. Ooh, the, the Reuben's really good. The, the dressing goes super well. I think I put just enough dressing on. It's not that bad. It's not that bad. The pineapple one is perfect. It's like you can you can't even really taste the hot dog, which I kind of almost like because the pineapple is really really strong in it. We can still taste the other flavors, even though the pineapple is the star, which is good. So I really like that one a lot. Mmm. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then last one for me. Yeah, the pineapple one's really good. I actually like that one a lot. I think out of all these, honestly, the coleslaw one is my favorite, or the pineapple. The Reuben one's good, but I don't know. There's just something about it that's not quite my favorite. So all in all, I think the coleslaw was my favorite, pineapple was my second, and Reuben was my third. And let's see what Mom has to say. Wait. Oh yeah, you have to try the mm -hmm. coleslaw one. Mm -hmm. It's pretty good. The hot dog is actually a little overpowering and I kind of like the toppings a lot. So I probably say my favorite is the pineapple, second Reuben, third coleslaw. Okay. Okay. So mixed, mixed differences. Yeah. Well, Mom's yeah. turn. Mom's turn. turn. All right. I'm doing the pineapple um, hot dog one. Yeah. Salsa, whatever you want to call it. We all liked that one. Hmm. <laughs> Give me a minute. I don't have a co-partner over here to talk to me while I'm... I do. Hello. Mm -hmm. All right, so I do like that one. I actually don't taste the pineapple as much. I taste the lime and the cilantro a lot. Oh, really? Yeah, I didn't mm -hmm. taste the pineapple too much. Which is pretty... And I got some of the jalapeno in there, which is actually pretty tasty with the mm -hmm. hot dog. So I like that one so far. It's good. Yay. Okay, we're going to do the Reuben. Yep, this is a Reuben, right? Yep. yep. So, so on it. Okay, I'm gonna go from the top to the bottom because it's gonna, okay. it's kind of a mouthful. Yeah, it is. Yeah, it is. A lot of these are. <laughs> They're messy. <laughs> mm-hmm. Very messy. Actually, are you messy? 
definitely not a first date mm -hmm. meal. No. <laughs> <laughs> okay, the Reuben's good, but the flavors are not very strong. Yeah, that's what I, I was want, saying. I want it to be that's more. That's what I was saying. I liked it. It's good, but I was expecting more flavor, to be totally honest. And if it had a rye bud, sour that would be really delicious. Plus, it was twisted. Yeah. Okay. You put some mustard on it. And then this is the barbecue. That was okay. my favorite. River's favorite. I want a little more topping on that one. Okay. Because I thought that it was had me. <laughs> just a little more cabbage or something. I thought it. I tasted most of the hot dog, but it, I mean it was good. But I would. I yeah, wanted. I, I, I wanted more coleslaw. Yeah. I could actually cut the hot dog in half and then put more coleslaw. In. <laughs> That's how I would have solved that yeah, problem. Yeah, I noticed most of these the toppings are kind of overflowing a little bit. Yeah. I liked it. So that. my favorite was the pineapple one. Yeah. My second was the barbecue, and my third was the Reuben, was which fine. I actually was expecting to really love the Reuben because I love those flavors, but it wasn't my favorite. Mm -hmm. So um, if you're going to make these, I would definitely make the pineapple one for sure. And uh, second up would be the coleslaw Which barbecue one. With some more topping. With some more topping. And then last one, it's still good, but it's not my favorite, is the Reuben. Mm -hmm. okay. So, Yay. you all should give these a try. They're fun. They were awesome. Really fun. It's just and a fun new take on, on hot dogs. Mm -hmm. We have a lot of leftover toppings. So we have yes, we're going to be eating hot dogs, dogs for days. days. We definitely make more than one. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching this really fun episode. We had a lot of fun. Did you have fun? Yes. Okay, yeah, I had fun too. I had a great time. Yeah. yeah. So if you guys want to make some really cool hot dogs and totally like make the original seem kind of bland, then you guys should definitely try some of these recipes. And if you guys want to try more recipes, photos, videos, see, uh, you yeah. can see some cool uh, photos. I already said that. You want to see more River. Oh yeah, you can see more of me. <laughs> and then you can go to our Instagram. Our website, uh, website GoGreenfields.com, Facebook, and Snapchat, I believe. Yes. Uh, thank you guys for listening, and we'll see you guys next time. Enjoy your hot dog. This episode was brought to you by Thrive Market and these other wonderful sponsors. Magic Spoon, Fresh Pressed Olive Oil, Wake Up Foods, and Desert Farms. Hello, and welcome to another 10 No Ideas segment. Hiya. Yay, we need a theme song for this. Do, 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 do. Ten no ideas. That's the Muppets. Oh, yeah. Oh. Copyright. Um, it's called plagiarism. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm I'm River. I'm Taryn, and this is our ten no ideas for March 6, twenty twenty one. Ooh. We're doing our top three. Mm. Uh, you go first since I went first last time. So ha ha ha. Uh, actually, I went first last time. No, but, I did. Okay, whatever. Um, so the first remember. one is a ketchup mustard sprayer. Like you know when you're trying to mix the ketchup and the mustard together. Not that I do that, but it's, my cousin did that. It sprays so, it. No, 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 no. So it's just like a ketchup, like a ketchup bottle, except it's got like two little snozzles. And, snozzles. Yeah, and then you just like snozzles. Sque <laughs> you just squeeze it, and it takes both of it, both of them like just like squeeze out, and they're already mixed and stuff. So it's like this orange color, kind of like that. Um, Wait, but that why? French fry. French why can't you just take both the bottles and squirt them at the same spot? Because sometimes they like slip out, and then you got it in your friend's face, and then what? It's, you know, and then <laughs> that has <it's>... never happened. <laughs> okay, next one. <laughs> Moving on. Uh, a bean bag filled with jello, like not edible jello, of course, but like this fake jello. So jello? You can like jump on it and be like, <laughs> and then all of a sudden splat, splash, like all no. over the wall. It's it's waterproof, okay? It can be made of plastic. Waterproof doesn't mean like hole proof. Well, it's made of titanium. Yeah, what happens if there's a hole though? It's made of titanium. Uh, it's got titanium threads in it. Titanium. Like steel threads. Like, That'd be but, uncomfortable, but okay, whatever. Next one. And my last one is a 10 new idea walkie talkie because we're not allowed to. Well, sometimes we're not allowed to be in the same room while doing our 10 new ideas because they influence each other. So you'd be like, you could whip out your little thing and be like, do you repeat? Do you repeat? I've got I've got two ideas left and one of them is this or this and this. And you're like, got it. <laughs> uh, <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. Well, my. What my ideas, I guess, is, uh, wait, are you done with your ideas? Count them. Three, yes, okay, you're done. Um, my first idea was Nerf bullets with trackers, because we use Nerf bullets, and we lose, like, tons and tons of them. No, our friends super do. Super annoying. Our, okay, friends. our friends do, but still. 
we have it'd be really nice if like there was like a tracker um like one of the guns to track the bullets that you're shooting because it's really annoying trying to find them because our friends shot like a hundred into the forest and we had to find so many but we only found like 25 oh, which probably wasn't very good for the forest either but <laughs> so it'd be really nice if there were trackers on them and then also a uh like a poop alert for our lizard <laughs> because <laughs> When we let her out, what? like, you can never tell, because you don't watch her, like, fully, so you can never tell when she's about to poop, and it's really annoying to clean it up, so if there was, like, I'd like to see someone buy that. <laughs> okay, can I get the, uh, uh lizard, the lizard It's alarm? an idea! <laughs> but, so, uh, if you could just, like, you could, like, beep, 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 and you're like, quick, get her back in the cage, or, like, put her under a towel or something. How would it know it? Would it, like, sense stress? <laughs> I don't know, maybe it was, like, a camera that you set up. I don't know. And then uh, a techno ideas generator. <laughs> you just like I don't know if I have I don't know if I have to ex I don't know if I have to explain this one, but <laughs> you just put in some gasoline, let it run, and it's like <laughs> or it could just be online. <laughs> you don't want any gasoline. It's propane. It's not like a slop. The generator is <laughs> propane, so I'll just I'll okay. Just anyway. <laughs> So, yep, those are my top three ideas. They're kind of weird. Both of our ideas are kind of weird, but... What? The jello bean bag was top notch. Made of titanium? Yeah. So <laughs> this sounds so comfortable. So we got to just spray it. Okay, well, those are our top three ideas from March 6, 2021. Thank you for listening to this 10 segment. And, and goodbye. See you guys next time. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da.